This is a simple guide on installing Rebirth version 1.3 mod for 7 days to die. If you already have the mod, old mod installed, for example 1.1 or 1.2, and just need to know how to back up your world, skip to time mark 5, backing up your old world. Progression should carry over, but as stated from Ferris Ramsey, he does recommend backing up your world. These steps are going to help new and existing mod installs. Step 1. Get a Discord account created. It's free 99. Go to hashtag download dash one dash three. Use one of the links to download the rebirth version. I don't have permissions to show the links. That is the main reason why it's blurred out. The file is 5.5 gigabytes, so make sure you have enough storage for that. Step two, most important step of all is to ensure you have the correct version of seven days to die Go to Steam Library, locate your 7 Days to Die game, right click, Properties, Betas, make sure you choose 1.3, if you are not on 1.3, you will run into issues. Step 3, extracting the files. Once you have downloaded the files from Discord channel links, you will need to extract them over to the 7 Days to Die mods folder. Locate 7 Days to Die, right click, manage, browse local files. If you already have existing mods in the mod folder, you can simply rename the folder. For example, I am going to rename my mods folder to mods old. Create a new folder called Mods. Double click into the Mods folder. Copy the directory. Go back to your downloads or wherever you download the Rebirth mod. Extract all and paste in the directory in there. You should have all these folders in your Mods folder after the extraction. Now you're ready to play the Rebirth mod. If this video did help you out, go ahead and consider liking and drop down a comment below what class you're going to be playing. I'm quite curious to know what everyone's playstyle is. Anyways, if you have issues, you can comment them down below and I will try my best to help you out. But your recommended place to post bugs and issues are in Farious Ramsey's Discord channel and I will post it down in the description down below. Alright, here is how you back up your old world from an older Rebirth version. If you already have the old Rebirth mod installed and don't know how to save your current world and move to the next newer version, don't worry, I gotcha. If you skipped all the way here, you might want to watch it from step one because it is crucial that you get the download files to play the newer version. All right, first step, you're gonna go to your start menu, type in percentage app, data percentage look for seven days to die folder saves find your current saved world copy that folder paste it somewhere where you can find later for the sake of this video I will be backing up my world into my desktop so I can just find it easier this is just a general tip, uh, just go ahead and launch the game if you don't know what your save file is. Hit continue and it should show you the world names. And to find out what your world names are, you are have to click into the folders to find your world name. Just made a folder on my desktop called 7 days to die rebirth bk up 1.1. Paste the world in there. If your save gets corrupted from the Rebirth mod update, you can copy your backed up world into the 7 days to die folder. And this is what the directory should look like. You can overwrite the files or just rename the folders to something else like the uh, saved world. Alright, well that is it. Enjoy and have fun. Hope this worked out for you.